What's up everybody, Kier Gomes here and welcome back. So something that I seem to always get asked about is how I take photos of my playing cards for Instagram. And I also get asked a lot how I edit them, how I make my thumbnails for YouTube, things of that variety. So I thought today it might be fun to break it up a little bit, kind of dive into this uh, new culture of playing card photography that has recently uh, been adopted as a thing. Now I know a lot of you are beginners with playing cards and some of you are beginners with playing cards but not beginners with cameras. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of hacks that you can do to take the best pictures of your playing cards without using anything super fancy, no fancy camera equipment, pretty much all stuff that you could do without leaving your house. Before we get started, please do drop a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Without further ado, let's roll that intro and then we'll, we'll go take some pictures. So I'm gonna try to do this whole video without really leaving this area here. Uh, I may go into another room, it just really depends. Uh, but we're gonna go over essentially three things that are super important when you're taking pictures of your playing cards. Number one is gonna be lighting. You don't wanna take pictures if you're not in ideal lighting. Number two is gonna be setting. So we're talking a good backdrop. You don't want all your pictures to be, you know, just a, a white wall. You really wanna make sure that you have a good setting. Number three, editing. Editing is important, so I'm gonna show you how to take a good picture with good lighting in a good setting and edit that picture in today's tutorial, so I hope you are excited. I know I am, so let's go. Okay, and for today's example, we are gonna be using the 6006 back playing cards by anyone worldwide. Uh, these were a gift from my buddy Jacob Burnham, so. Jacob, thank you for sending me this deck. Okay, now this is super important. So when it comes to lighting, you can see in this area that I'm in right here, lighting is really dark. It's gonna be very difficult for me to use. Let's just move somewhere closer towards maybe a window or just a natural light source that we can draw off of. See, this looks way better. I'm gonna use portrait mode on my phone. If you have an iPhone, you can also use portrait mode. All right, now a setting can really be homemade. It doesn't need to be something super fancy, like at my desk, and I'll just move some stuff around to make it look like it's in a lot busier of a, of a space. And as well, you kinda wanna have something obstructing the camera just a little bit to add some depth into your shot. So in this case, I'm gonna use these flowers. And you can see that creates more distance and almost like a bokeh effect between the subject, which is the cards, and then the flowers, which, which make it look a little bit uh, more up front. Now you don't have to do this. You can also, in post when you're editing, you can also add some light, some good light leaks in the corner or something to create that. But usually if I can, I like to use uh, a physical obstruction kind of in the corner of the frame. So. so now we've got two shots. We've got some good lighting. We've got a good setting. Let's learn how to edit. And there's really like three editing softwares that I use from my phone, if that's what I'm using to take a picture. And that is Visco, V-S-C-O. Then I use Afterlight, so I'll kind of walk you through that process right now. So once you've got your shot and you've uploaded it into, let's start with Visco. So in Visco, it's really nice because you can just kind of select from the pre-done filters. I don't like to do photos that are overly saturated or that bring out too much color and make the image look muddy. So we want to look for something that really accents all the color in this photo, and that might look something like this one. Okay, so now that we've got that, we just want to export it, save it. And now what I'll usually do is, is upload this into the Instagram photo editor. And from there, you're gonna see a bunch of options that you can edit. So you can see up here, there's this little wand and that's the Lux. That kind of is gonna create a shadow. It's gonna brighten things up from the bottom up. Then what you wanna do is you can see all of these options in the Instagram editor. And I don't have anything to adjust, so we're just gonna start here with brightness. So up or down with the brightness. I think for this case, I don't really know how bright I need it to be. We can pretty much just leave it. If you're happy with uh, the brightness and the contrast, you can get into things like structure. If you see, I turn it all the way up. It distorts the image a lot, so uh, we're not gonna do anything with structure. I typically don't anyway. You can also control things like your highlights and shadows, so you can bring up the highlights. In this case, not really necessary. Same thing with shadows, so you can dull out the shadows, or it's similar to contrast, you can kind of bring it up and make it a little bit darker. Now you're also gonna have things that you can do with the, see that we have like an option here to uh, add some vignette, which uh, creates a shadow on the outside of the image. 
and we'll kind of draw the focus more towards the center. So since we have this deck of cards pretty much in the center, if we darken it on the outside, you can see it just brings a little bit more of a focal point to that particular subject, which in this case is our deck of cards. Then of course, sharpness. Uh, if you make it too sharp, it can sometimes look uh, overdone. You don't want to do that. So let's turn it up a little bit to really, really bring it out. Overall, I think we have a pretty good image here, but it's missing something. So now I might go into Afterlight and add some lighting effects to kind of bring it all together. So as you can see, we can just go here in Afterlight. And then we have this kind of preset pack of lighting that we can add. So you'll want to play around in there, see which one matches your image. This one really depends on if you want something that looks crazy, spectacular, special effects, or if you want it to look like it's more natural uh, and you just caught like a nice, you know, blue light coming in from the window or something like that. Play around there and see which one you like. And in this case, I'm good with this. Let's turn it down just a little bit. Our image is pretty much done now and ready to upload. All right guys, thank you so much for watching that. I hope it was helpful. If you watch this tutorial and you learned something from it, go take some photos and tag me in them if you upload them to Instagram, I'd love to see it. And don't worry, if you don't have a smartphone, that doesn't mean that you can't do this. It just means that whatever camera you do have, you'll have to get creative. But that's the whole point is, you can take amazing pictures really without having anything fancy. So please do drop a like on this video guys and subscribe if you have not already. All that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I know I will. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.